linear equation in the dependent variable of y. So in this case, when uh, j of x, this part here, when j of x uh, becomes 0, so the linear equation is said to be homogeneous, where, while if there is a uh, term here for j of x, or if your j of x is not equal to 0, then it is a non-homogeneous linear equation. So this is the you know this is the linear equation. No? Tapos, uh, to make this one into its standard form, you have to divide both sides by a sub one of x. So kana siya yung divide both sides. Para may mo ang coefficient sa y is a sub zero of x over a sub one of x. So kana siya a sub zero of x over a sub one of x is actually that is the p. Okay. Ito. Kena. So dy over dx plus p of xy equals to the f of x. <coughs> this f of x is actually the j of x over the this coefficient. So dy of x over dx. Mga siya na usap siya, no? Instead of g of x, uh, change to j, uh, f of x. Because nag-divide mga ka both sides, no? By the by this coefficient of the dy over dx. So, ano siyang p of x na ang imunan sa y. So, ano siyang standard form <coughs> of a linear equation. So, the property, the differential equation has the property that its solution is the sum of the two solutions. So, we have the y equals to y uh, c plus y p where yc is a solution of the associated homogeneous equation, okay? And yp is a particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation. So observe that, for example, you have this, this one. Okay, so, so you have the, the derivative of the yc plus yp with respect to x plus P of X times YC plus YP. And then this is equal to this one. Ni? Derivative of YC over this X plus P of X, YC. Uh, this is equal to zero. Okay. And this one. Okay. Derivative of YP with respect to DX plus P of X, YP. This is actually the F, F of X. Okay. Ano siya, no? The F of X. So, ano siya ang one ang solution again the solution is actually the sum of the general solution and the particular solution associated with the homogeneous you know, you know, with this uh, yc and yp so how do we solve a linear first order equation so first things first uh, put a linear equation of the form into the standard form. So I'm going to say if the, the dy over dx is wala siya ikuan, wala siya uh, wala siya coefficient class, so you divide everything by the coefficient of the dy over dx. Dapat ang coefficient sa dy over dx is 1 na na siya class. Dapat 1 na siya, no? Yung coefficient. Next is from the standard form, Identify the p of x and find and then find the integrating factor. So how do we find the integrating factor? So just take the e to the integral of p of x dx. Okay. And then after that, after finding the integrating factor, so ato na siya I multiply both sides. So multiply the standard form the equation by the if. So the left hand side of the resulting equation is automatically the derivative of the integrating factor and y. So automatic na siya nas. So once you have the if, so once you have the if, you multiply both sides by the if. And then uh, when you take the integral of that one, actually that's the derivative, no? derivative of the if and the y. Okay. Then when, lastly, we integrate 
both sides of the last equation. Uh, that's the, ano, how do we solve a linear first order equation? Example, you have this one. Okay, change ko sa kwana. Change ko sa kam. So, we're going to take one. So, ang first nga ako, and, uh, so, I don't want to go. Camera. Okay. So, the first problem is, uh, number one. Na. So, solve. Solve dy where dx minus 3y is equal to 0. Okay, so this problem is an example of a homogeneous linear linear dy because of this, the, G, uh, the f of x is equal to 0. Okay, so if we try to divide both sides, uh, everything by 1, so, di ba, mausab na siya kung this is now the P of X and this J of X now becomes the F of X. And this 0 over 1, that's uh, 0 pa na siya, no? So, this is uh, homogeneous because ang yung F of X is equal to 0. Okay, so, na kung na nato into standard form, so, atong ba, atong sunod is atong i-determine ang atong IF. Okay? So, atong i-determine ang atong IF. So, atong IF is, so, E to the, raised to the integral of P of X dx. Okay, that's the E. That's the IF. So, what's our P of X? It's negative 3. Okay, so this will become E, okay, raised to the power of the integral of negative 3 dx. Okay? Ano? Ano? And then, this will be equal to uh, so this will become e that I simplify pagawa sa negative, that's the integral of uh, 3 dx. And the integral of uh, 3 dx is 3x. Diba? That's 3x. This is equal to so, e to the negative 3x. So, e to the negative 3x now is our integrate is the integrating factor. So, what we're going to do? So, we will just have this one, the standard form of the linear one. So, dy over dx minus 3y, that is equal to 0. And then, we multiply everything by the if, Okay. So, ito siya i-multiply everything by the IF. So, E to the negative 3X. Ano? And then, multiply ni mo dila. So, distribute na siya. So, E to the negative 3X na dy over dx minus 3 E to the negative 3X y. Then this is equal to zero. Okay, and this one class, this one, okay. Uh, after we multiply this the if to the standard form the linear equation or linear de, so actually this this left side of the equation is actually the derivative of the integrating factor times y, diba? So ano is It's actually the derivative of the integrating factor times the y. 
with respect to x. And this is equal to 0. Now, so after that one, so we integrate both sides. So we integrate both sides. So we have, I integrate both sides. Okay. So after integrating both sides, so automatic no, kaya derivative na siya, ante derivative na so derivative na niya, derivative siya e to the minus three x na y. Okay. Na sa pikas is c. Okay. So after that, so we solve y. Okay, we solve y. So y is actually equal to Kani siya, mabalik sa pikas, no? So, y is actually equal to c e to the positive 3x. Okay, positive 3x na siya. Okay, muna siya i-bring down. This is y over e to the e to the 3x. And then, plus multiply. So, makakuha na sa, really sa right side ang imong e to the 3x. And this is our answer. Okay, question? None? Class, I'm sorry. Okay, wala. Okay. Proceed to problem number two. Okay. So, for <coughs> problem number two, so problem number two, we have this one. Claro. Okay. So, problem number two is uh, dy where dx minus 3y is equal to 6. Okay. So, this is our uh, this is our p of x. Okay. And this is our f of x. But as you can see, the f of x is not equal to 0. Therefore, this is a non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Kaya atong f of x di man siya equal to zero. So non-homogeneous di siya. So how do we solve a non-homogeneous linear differential equation? So again, uh, we, we need to solve first the if. Okay, so we need to solve first the if. So the integrating factor. Okay, so we have e na... So that raised to the integral of p of x dx. Okay? That is substitute on p of x. So e raised to the integral of negative 3 na dx. Okay? Ano? And then this is equal to e raised to the integral of Negative integral of 3 dx. Na. So, same lagi like upon the first problem. No? Ang iyang integrating factor is e raised to negative 3x. Na. Okay. So, na natay if. So, so na tong buhaton. So, we multiply the if to the given or to the standard form of the linear de. So, we have dy over dx minus 3y is equal to 6. And then, we multiply both sides by the integrating factor e to the negative 3x. Ano? And then, sa sunod ba aton? So, this is Okay, multiply man siya, no? So, e to the negative 3x dy over dx. This one. Multiply mga kanisad siya. Minus 3 e to the negative 3x and y. <coughs> okay. And this is equal to 6. Okay, 6 e to the negative 3x. <clears throat> okay, and then so actually this one again based sa katong ko ano, 
So when you, after we multiply the integrating factor to the standard form, the linear DE, so this left-hand side of the equation is actually the derivative of the integrating factor times y. So this is the derivative of the integrating factor times the y with respect to x. And then, so this is 6 e to the negative 3x. And then we integrate both sides. So we integrate both sides. We integrate both sides. So after integrating both sides, you know, so this one, since this is the derivative, the antiderivative, so kare mo gawas, okay? So automatic na siya, e to the negative 3x niya, y. Okay? Nga. And then, this is equal to, kare siya, so pagawas mo ang 6, so, Pagawas ni mong 6, so we have the integral of e to the negative 3x dx. Okay? Diba ang, ang integral sa koan, ano? Diba ang integral sa e to the u du is e u plus c. Diba? No, sakto? Ano siya ang yes, yung ano? And then, Kato sa itong given dito, that's negative. Sa ito? Oh, e to the? E. e to the negative 3x dx. So, itong buha itong, pulma ang itong yan eh. Okay? So, itong u is negative 3x. Du is negative 3 dx. Na? Okay? Then, ang dx di really, isa na ito o... Uh, in terms of u, iba. So this is ang dx nato. Therefore, is a negative du over three is equal to dx. Wah, so mo niya na tungo ano? Na. So if that's the case, so therefore na tay negative one third yung factor, iba. So para mahuwa na to ang kaning kwan. Okay, so sa kaninga, kani, risa kuan, so e to the negative 3xy, so this is, naman natin ko ano, so ilisa mo na niya, so this is 6 over negative 3, di ba? Nga, this is the integral of e to the u du. And then e to the negative 3xy, this is negative 2, so e to the u plus kc, na, diba? So e to the u plus c. <coughs> and then, pilama natong u, that's negative 3x, so ato ibalik. So, ibalik na ito ang atong kuhan. So, ibalik siya. So, e to the negative 3xy negative 2 e to the negative 3x plus c. Na, ngayon ibalik ang u, no? Which is negative 3x. And then, divide both sides by this one. e to the negative 3x. So, divide e to the negative 3x, e to the negative 3x, e to the negative 3x. Na. Okay, so mawala na lang siya, y na lang. Na y. So mawala na lang siya, ma 1, okay, ma-divide out, ma 1. That's uh, negative 2. So plus, pasaka ang kani, positive exponents, that's c, e to the 3x. This is our answer. Okay. Question? Wala pa, sir. Wala pa. Okay. Nasabta na so far. So, so far, so good. 
<coughs> so, so good pa? So good kasi. <laughs> so good pa, so good. Okay. So, let's proceed with a uh, problem. Sample problem number three. Okay, so I have here. Okay, so for problem number three, so we have here. Claro, come on. Okay, so number three. So we have x dy over dx minus 4y is equal to x raised to 6 e raised to x. Okay, I know. So again, so the given is... Uh, x dy over dx minus 4y is equals to x raised to 6 then e raised to x. So, atong buhatan is ato sana siya a change into standard form by by multiplying both sides by 1 over x. So, we multiply both sides by 1 over x or we divide both sides by x. So, may tabo ani is say purpose ani para ma Para so that the coefficient of dy over dx is equal to 1. So, mabilin diri sa, yun, is 1 na lang siya, di ba? Ma-divide out mo ng x. So, dy over dx minus 4 over x. So, 4 over x, y. And this is equal to x raised to 5 na lang. Kaya nag-divide, baka isa ka x. Yeah, raise times e to the x. Okay? So, na siya sa standard form ng atong linear DE. <coughs> okay? Standard form na siya. So, identify na ito ang atong P of x. What is our P of x class? So, what's our P of x? That's negative 4 over x. Coefficient sa y. So, we can now find our integrating factor. Okay? So, for our integrating factor, so we have E, the integral of P of X, DX. Okay? That's how to find the integrating factor. And then, this is equal to, substitute the P of X. So, the integral of negative 4 over X dx na okay and then this is equal to e raised to negative the integral of dx over x okay na class so na pay 4 negative 4 sorry okay negative 4 na so and then this is e raised to integral of dx over x. So, my integral is ya. Ln x, sir. Okay, that's ln of x. Okay. So, and then, what is it? Okay, what is it? Okay, what is it? So, this is e raised to ln of x raised to negative 4. Okay. So, kanin siya property of logarithm. Therefore, ang kanin siya mo, mo simplify ni siya into x raised to negative 4. Ma-bring down niya ang kanin siya x to negative 4. Kay ln man siya, e to the ln of x. So, ang imong final answer diri is ang if niya is x raised to negative 4. Okay? Oha? So, okay. Ito. 
So now our IF is uh, X raised to negative 4. So, so this what balik ang atong koan. So at this what balik ang atong standard form na na form ganiha. So dy over dx minus 4 over x y equals to x raised to 5 e raised to x. Na. Then what we multiply both sides by x raised to negative 4. Ana. Okay. So, multiply na to. This is x to negative 4 dy over dx minus 4 x raised to negative 3. Okay? Nama kay x na denominator. Diba? Yung multiply mo na. So, negative 3 na siya. Then, y. And this is equal to so, x na lang siya. x times e to the x. <coughs> kay negative 4 man siya. Like, multiply ni mo na niya. Ma 1 lang siya. 5 minus 4, that's 1. So, 1 na mabilin na niya. Sa exponent sa x. Okay? Follow na? So, after that, so, kani, again, the left side of the equation is the, is actually the derivative of the integrating factor times y. So, this is actually the derivative of the integrating factor times y over dx. Na. And this is equal to x times e to the x. And then we integrate both sides. So, we integrate both sides. Na. So, after integrating both sides, Okay, this one, tomatic lang, mawala rin siyang kung ano, kaya antiderivative naman. So, that's x to negative 4, y. Okay. Okay, eh. how do we integrate this? Okay, using integration by parts. Diba, honey? So, remember class, when, when you're, uh, when in doing integration by parts, uh, if if the integrand comprises of kanama polynomials, tapos exponential or polynomial, tapos trigo polynomial or inverse, okay, you need to always follow this uh, rule, no? Okay, so follow always this rule. The lipid. Okay, okay, this lipid is <coughs> helpful siya sa inyo class para <coughs> ma-identify ninyo kung Kinsa ang inyong U? Kinsa ang inyong uh, DV? Okay? So, kaning lipid? Ang saan mo siyang lipid? So, logarithm. So, first, kita sa logarithm. Okay? Tapos, inverse trigo, polynomials, exponential, and trigo. So, in this case, on saan nga integral involved sa itong kuan? Dari sa kaning kuan. So, it's polynomial and or the nomial. And the exponential. So, una si P, si polynomial. Therefore, using the lipid, so, muna ta, atong U is the X. Kay base dali sa lipid, una si polynomial. So, therefore, our U is X. Tapos, DU is DX. Therefore, ang atong DV is the E to the X. Okay, E to the X, DX, ano? And then, we integrate this one. We integrate. Okay. Ang V na to is E to the extra. Uh, okay. So, wala na siya, no? So, recall lang uh, from your integral calculus. Wala na siya. How do we integrate? Okay. So, wala na. na Identify na to si U o si B. Nala si U o si B, no? So, ang sa integration by parts, ano na siya, no? U, B. Minus the integral of VDU. So, ato na siya yung substitute. So, X raised to negative 4Y. 
U. Ang U na to is X. <coughs> X. Tapos, ang V na to is E to the X. So, E to the X. Minus the integral of V is E to the X. DU is DX. Okay? Na class? Alora? So, simplify. So, X raised to negative 4 Y. That is X raised to times E to the X minus, can integral anning is E to the X money. So, E to the X plus C. <coughs> okay? Can I know? And then, so, on say sunod may tabo. Divide, sir. Okay, so divide na to. So divide both sides by x raised to negative 4. Uh, divide na nan. x to negative 4. x to negative 4. Na, ipakita na na to para. So therefore, y, ano? So, y is equal to, may mo siyang positive exponent, no? So, na, napay 1 sa x, so x raised to 5. Uh, na e to the x. Okay? <clears throat> Minus x to the 4, e to the x. Plus c, x raised to 4. And this is our answer. Okay. What? Uh? Mm, Kuhara? Ay mo dana? Hmm? Okay, so what? Uh? What? Uh, sir? Okay. So, why question any? Can I proceed to last uh, example? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, for uh, problem number four, so we have this one. Did it relate ang akong gikuan? Gidiscuss ang akong historia? Did it, yes, sir. Ah, did it. Synchronous na siya. So, find the, okay, so number four. Find the general solution of okay, this one. <clears throat> so x squared minus nine dy over dx plus xy that is equal to zero. No, no. So as you can see. Na ay ko ano na ay coefficient ang atong uh, ko an uh, dy over dx so sa atong buhaton so we need to saman siya atong i divide both sides so therefore if we divide both sides so metabuan is dy over dx plus x over x squared minus 9, y. Na. And then this is equal to 0. <coughs> so, uh, sunod na itong buhaton is we need to find the uh, integrating factor. Diba? So, how do we uh, do that in finding the integrating factor? So, same lagi po, no? So, we will... Uh, Tong e raise na to, no? So, what is our P of X, dear class? P of X. So, our P of X is this one. So, IF. So, integrating factor. That is E raised to the integral of P of X dx. 
Then, substitute na to ang P of X e raised to the integral of X over X squared minus 9. Na. Okay? Na dx. So, if we uh, take this one, as you can see, if this is our u, so, napat magawas ang du, di ba? Okay? So, if our u is this one, can I, can I ba abos? Ano? Ano ka nun, ha? Di ba? The integral of du over u is equal to ln of u plus c. Ano mo na siya, no? Ano? So, if in this case, we have x over x squared minus 9 dx. So, if our u is equals to x squared minus 9, du is equal to 2x dx. Okay? Nano? And then, that's, this is 1 half of du equal to x dx. Okay? Ano na? Okay? So, mo na itong u. Mo na gawas ang du. So, there is a koan. There is a part. So, this is equal to E. Okay, lisa na to, no? So, integral of DU over uh, one half of DU. So, na one half sa gawas over U. Ana? Okay? Okay, base ito sa akong substitution ba? Ang kaning X DX is equals to one half of DU. Ana? Okay, so one half of the u. So akong ipuli dili class. So u, this one, is the u. And then, yeah, the u is this one. Ang x dx, x dx is one half of the u. So one half of the u. So this will become, so e raised to one half of ln of u. Pero pila man itong U. Ellen of U lang. Ellen of U sa Ellen of U. Okay? And then, pila man itong Ellen of U. So, itong Ellen of U is, a uh, U is X squared minus 9. So, 1 half. Okay? So, Ellen of X squared minus 9. And then, this is equal to E raised to ln of the square root of may kaya ni siya the square root of x squared minus 9 na okay and this becomes square root of x squared minus 9 so matagak mo na siya no makakawal kay property of logarithm so maho square root siya siya can you erase properties of logarithm? And then, of Kanisha, may mo siya exponent anak niya. One half. One square root na siya. Na siya. Okay, gets na? Properties of logarithm, ha? So, pwede na siya may exponent anak niya. Tapos, mahog na siya. May mo na yung answer. So, yung integrating factor is actually the uh, square root of x squared minus 9. Na siya. Okay. So, balik ta sa atong given. <coughs> so, we have this one. Uh, dy. So, dy over dx plus x over square root plus x squared minus 9. Now, y is equal to 0. Now, <coughs> then, since this is actually this the derivative of the integrating factor times y, so we have this one. Okay, the square root of x squared minus nine times y. No, derivative. So with respect to x. No. 
Okay, and this is equal to zero. So we integrate both sides. So we integrate both sides. So this actually becomes this is square root of x squared minus nine times y is equal to c. Okay. So y is equal to c over the square root of x squared minus 9. I know. Okay. So this is our answer. Okay. Uh, question. La. You're not a screenshot. Wala na. Anyways, this is recorded. If you want to revisit this one, okay, so tanawa lang sa YouTube sa hong channel. So, I uploaded to. Wala lang ako gi share. Di lang ako share ang Google Drive ako ano, kay makalas mo gud data. Once ma upload siya sa YouTube, mas less ang data. Kasi nakita ka og kanang resolution. Okay. Okay.